Now the bottle don't move to the beat of just one dram. What might be right for you may not be right for some. A whiskey is born, it's a whiskey of peat. Then along come more with sherry and rum. And you've got different scotches. It takes different scotches. <laughs> it takes different scotches to make it all right. Anyone get that one? WTF, whiskey, today's fact. <laughs> the short series where we try to cram facts into small spaces so you can find them quickly when you're called out as a whiskey expert. Today we're headed off to learn a little bit more about Benriac, a Speyside distillery located in the northern part of the Speyside region, just south of Elgin. We'll remember the Elgin Classic range from Glen Moray, another Speyside whiskey. Benriac was founded in 1898 by John Duff. It's worth noting that in the 1890s, over 30 distilleries opened in Scotland and was intended to be an ingredient in the blended Scots whiskey marketplace. Ben is a Gaelic word that means hill, and Ben Riach was built upon a hill that was part of the Riach farm. Voila! Ben Riach was born. However, the timing of the opening Ben Riach was not in John Duff's favor, as shortly thereafter the Scots whiskey market suffered from the Patterson crash. Think stock market crash, and whiskey prices dropped and as a result, many distilleries closed in the next 10 years, eventually dropping the Scotch whiskey production by one third nationally. Yeah. The Ben Riach also closed and in 1900 after producing spirits for only two years. But they continued to provide floor malted barley to a neighboring and surviving distillery, Longmorn. This process of keeping their toe in the pool allowed for their facility to remain viable for decades, even though they only produced malted barley for export via rail train. Finally, in 1965, Ben Riach began producing spirit again. As the American market was exploding and blended Scotch whiskey was making a comeback. And in 1972, Ben Riach began to utilize peat in their process, bucking some of the traditional Speyside methods as peat is an Isla region staple. In 1985, Ben Riach doubled production, increasing their stills from two to four, and these four stills are still in use today. 1994 marked Ben Riach's entry into the single malt Scotch whiskey world, and they still endeavor to create single malts that recreate that original flavor by accessing a secret supply of their original run of single malt to compare with and of course tinker with until it's just right. Shutting down again in 2002 and bought by new owners in 2004, production began again immediately and Ben Riach was now releasing a classic Speyside offering, a peated style and a newfangled triple distilled version as well. And they had casks in the warehouse from the late 1960s Things are looking good for Ben Riach. So keep your eyes out for 1994 Ben Riachs, the first year they offered single malt. And that's whiskey. Today's fact, the water of life. Did you get it? Different strokes? <laughs>